Hello, you. Uh, you've hit it here. Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Amy Ecker, and today I am doing a review on the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25. I want to say 24 because there's 24 hours in a day, but this bottle says there's 25 hours in this breathable long wear foundation. It's a high def finish, medium coverage. And so this has a broad spectrum SPF 20 sunscreen in it, and it is a 103 in true ivory. So I did put this on today, and this is what you see on my face right now. You are gonna see me put it on, and um, you are gonna see me build it up. So this foundation for me and my redness, I had to build it up. It does say it's a medium coverage foundation. I must need a super high coverage foundation because this one I did have to build it up. It's very kind of liquidy. Um, in fact, the first time I used it was when I was in Vegas. I thought I would try it out while I was there. And like, I just had it going everywhere. You just have to be very, very careful. So it has this little applicator on it. And so this little applicator, I don't know if you can see, we've got a drip kind of forming at the bottom of this. There it goes, there it goes. Um, here it drips. Here we go, we got the drip turning. So yeah, this foundation is a little bit more watery than what I was used to, so I pull this thing out and I start putting it on my face, but I was flinging it everywhere because I wasn't quite ready for it to be that liquidy. And because it is, it almost has a very sheer finish. Again, you could still see my red through the first coverage, and in a moment you're gonna see, it looked like I had actually put a lot on my face, but it's just a thin coverage. I don't even know that I'd necessarily say it's a medium coverage, because again, I had to put more on. I did put two layers on, and you could still see the red from my nose and chin through the second layer. So instead of continuing to apply layer after layer, I just went ahead and grabbed my concealer and put it on the red spot so that I could get going and not have a multitude of layers on my face. That's the other thing with this is if you do have troubled skin or redness um, or you need a better coverage, you're gonna have to put a concealer on. Uh, I don't know how many layers it would take for me to get it to what I would consider a medium coverage foundation, but yeah, I, I'm just not willing to put that many layers on my face. So for me, this is kind of already a bust because it's too watery and, and it's not a good enough coverage. So I hate, I hate that that happened. But for people that have um, skin, a nicer skin, and they like something really light coverage because they don't need it, they just need to kind of have... Um, maybe just a little bit on to give them a flawless look, this is gonna be your jam. This is gonna be your jam. But anyways, you're gonna see that go on in a little bit, and I hope that that helps you with your purchasing power. I will go ahead and do um, an end of day video, or maybe eight hours, just to give you guys kind of um, an inkling on how this holds up. For me, I did have it on for a, an extended period of time when I was in Vegas and I really didn't think that it had 25 hours coverage. I don't even think it had 10 hour coverage for me at that point. So anyways, uh, I'll go ahead and get um, kind of an end of a day and let you guys know how many hours I did have on that, my face at that time so you can kind of see what it looks like. But I hope that's, a, I know that's a lot of information, but I hope that helps you with your buying. So anyways, get ready to see how bad my face is without a lot of coverage. Here we go. Okay, so it has this little wand kind of thing. You do need to be careful. I was, um, I had it slinging everywhere when I tried it while I was in Vegas. So I'm just gonna kind of place this everywhere. I've used other Rimmel foundations and I really liked them. So 
I was very curious about this one. And as you can see, even though I had a lot, or what to me seemed like a lot, on my face, you can see that it's a kind of lighter coverage. So I'm gonna try to build it up because you can still see my redness through. It's kind of a thin, I guess watery. It's not very thick. You can kind of see that as I spread it, how thin it gets. So for me, this foundation is a little bit harder because again, I need something more full coverage. This almost has the same consistency of the Marc Jacobs, is it Shameless foundation? It's supposed to give you a youthful appearance. My comment on that was that the youthfulness mean, must met, have meant that you needed a youthful skin to start with because it was so thin that it doesn't really cover. But even building up, so you can still see that pink through on my nose. So already this foundation for me is a little bit harder to use. I will say that the finish saying it's 24, 25 hours, I didn't have luck of it and I had it on for a long period of time for it staying 25, 25 hours, obviously. So we're going to go ahead and keep applying makeup and we'll go from there because I'm going to need to definitely use a concealer on my nose and chin area because again, I can still see a little bit of the redness around my nose. So we're going to build this up with um, some concealer and see kind of how that does. So again, my chin and nose is always red. I'm using the Catrice Camouflage. It's a waterproof high coverage concealer. It's one of my favorites. So the Catrice set up really nice on there, so that's helpful. Now I have not used a primer, I did use a toner, so I don't have a primer underneath it this time. Again, I had a primer underneath it when I wore it in Vegas and it didn't last all day, so we're going to see how this works without a primer today. So I'm going to keep going, I'm going to powder my okay, face. Okay, we're at the end of a 10 hour day, so I'm going to tap out and call it good. And we are going to do a final check-in on this foundation. Although it really has done better than what it did the other day in Vegas or last week in Vegas. So let's zoom in. Don't judge. Don't judge. Whew. We're really close and personal right now. Okay, so I didn't use a primer, but I did use a setting spray and I used which setting spray? It was the Too Faced Peach Mist setting spray. So let's look at how this did. And I was out in the heat, heat of Texas. It was 80 degrees today, so let's look at it. Um, right here on my nose, it did lighten up a little bit. You can kind of see the red through. It's a little bit patchy, very patchy on the tip. There goes my little pink coming through. And it really stuck to the dry patches. You can see the dry patch right, right there. So it, it, it didn't do good there. Now on the chin, look at the chin. The chin looks like a mottled mess. Um, even up underneath the eyes, the eyes look a little bit broken up. And let's look over on this side. We're gonna look over on this side. This I did better, even though I had um, some of the fallout from the eyeshadow through the day. And actually, my forehead doesn't look as bad as it could. So, you know, after 10 hours, it doesn't look bad. But this did say it was a 25 hour foundation. And I didn't do a whole lot. I mean, you know, I was unpacking, 
sorting, organizing the house. I don't think we'll ever get through any of that. Downsizing is horrible, but that's another subject, another rabbit trail. But overall, I mean, I did go outside and sit in, in the heat for March. It doesn't look bad, but it just, it, it's just not my favorite. It just isn't my favorite. So anyways, tell me what you think. I'm really interested in hearing how, you know, have you tried this foundation? Does it do it for you? Is it okay for you? Did it perform better on you than it did me? I'm like dying to know because there has been other Rimmel foundations that I thought was the holy grail. So this one just didn't do it for me like some of the other Rimmel foundations did. So anyways, I just want to hear your thoughts and comments. So please leave those below. Thanks for watching this video using the Rimmel Lasting Finish 24 Hour Breathable Foundation. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice, so make it a great one. Until next time.